Hey guys, it's Reese. Welcome back to the channel. So, this is my official full um, video or entry for my special um, Mustang Diecast Car Challenge, which is my cool or unique Mustang cars from my collection. And um, whoever so does this challenge, um, you know, hopefully I see some really cool awesome unique videos of their Ford Mustang cars that they think are cool or unique from their diecast car collection as well. Anyways, without further ado, let's get into the awesome Ford Mustang cars that I think are cool or unique from my diecast car collection. So there will be some premiums, a lot of 164 scales, some bigger size cars like I want to say 118 maybe to like 132. And one unopened one and a Lego car and a special bonus um that isn't really a diecast um Ford Mustang car of any size scale, but it's still Ford Mustang related somehow. So yeah. Anyways, here are the cars. There's some premiums, NASCAR, Hot Wheels Matchbox ones in here that I will be showing as well. Johnny Lightning, M2 Machines, Mini GT, Tarmac Works. NASCAR, Hot Wheels, Matchbox, etc. Some premium brands, Greenlight, Johnny Lightning, Auto World. And I kind of did just show a slight part of the um, bonus item that relates to Ford Mustang cars. And actually it will relate to this video as well, so that's why it fits perfectly in this video I'm making. And yes, I am going slow so you can see them all. I'll also go back at times in case you missed one that you wanted to see again. That um, silver gray one is actually an Eleanor one. The one next to it is the GT500 King of the Road, by the way. That one's Johnny Lightning, the Eleanor GT500 is um, green light, I believe. I could be slightly wrong about that, but I believe it is a green light car. This Mustang, this blue one's from the Mustang 5 pack from Hot Wheels. Yeah, a lot of NASCARs. Um, this one's also a green light car. It's hard to um, recognize it, but it is actually a green light one because it's from the um, Hitch and Hauler Hitch and Toe series that has a. Um, truck trailer with a car and this was the um, car that came with that truck and trailer that red one's an auto world mustang this one right here is because um that's what it said when i looked underneath it because i was really getting confused as to which diecast car brand made it turn it upside down turns out that red one right there next to the number 34 which is actually a daytona 500 winter car yes yeah, some of these um ford mustang nascars that I'm showing may or may not have fake confetti or like special um you know decoration of some sort on them. That's because they are a race winner car, by the way. Just that I let you know that right now. And um, this red one actually has the uh, green color version over there. It is right there. They are both a GT500 carbon fiber track package edition. So I have no clue how much. That would cost for the real life car, but it wouldn't be cheap, I would say that. Anyways, back to the toy car ones that I'm showing. Oh, there's another race winner car because it has the um, like fake confetti like stuff on it. On the decal. This um, Golf Johnny Lightning Boss 302 came with a different Ford car. However, I'm not going to go into um, details about which car it came with because I will show both of those cars in a separate video. Um, that one's not a race winner. Oh, I think that one may or may not have been. No, it's not. Some of these just have slight paint wear, so it's hard to tell if they're a race winner or not. Because when the paint wears off, the fake confetti decal on it kind of wears off too, in a way. I do know that's a race winner car. Because I think I already showed it before. Alright, um... Oh yeah, 
This number 34 is a Michael McDowell car. He won the um, Daytona 500, I want to say, one or two years ago, I believe. I do have a lot of Ford Mustang NASCAR diecast cars. Alright, now that's the um, unopened Mustang that I was talking about. It's the um, Sharkmouth M2 Machines one. It's a 1970 Ford Mustang Mach 1 351. So it has a special engine in it because of the 351. Because that's supposed to mean a 351 cubic inch engine for the V8 engine it has in there. That blue one is a Mini GT. Um, because of all the special details on the car. You might not be able to recognize it that easily that it's a Mini GT, but it is because of that wing back there. Is um, if if you aren't careful with it, it will fall off a lot sooner than you think. And also, those mirrors are um, kind of flimsy at times as well. Can't really see the other mirror, but um, yeah, it's a Mini GT car for that one. The next one to it is actually a Zamac, which is a Walmart special Mach-E 1400. This one is a Matchbox Boss 302. I got that from a diecast car collector friend who's unfortunately no longer into diecast cars. I'm not going into details about it, but I just thought I'd tell you how I ended up getting that one somehow. This is a race winner for sure because of the fake confetti on it, without a doubt. Yeah, that's definitely a race winner. The number 22 didn't have as much fake confetti, but it still was a race winner. So I actually have three race win um, NASCAR diecast car Ford Mustang cars in this video for my um, color unique Ford Mustang diecast cars showcase challenge that I'm doing. And this is my official video for that challenge. And this one is from 2023 DK's Hot Wheels Cars from this year, the Blue Mach 1400. Gotta say, in my um, honest thoughts, um, out of all the Hot Wheels Matchbox Mach-E um, Ford Mustang diecast cars, I like the blue one the best and the Zimac one second best. And then this gold, um, I want to say it's a Cobra Jet one. Yeah, it's a 68. 1968 Ford Mustang Cobra Jet Matchbox in gold, and actually, this gold one is a challenge car from Matchbox, because apparently they had a challenge series of um, Matchbox diecast cars painted in that special gold color. So this one right here is a special um, Matchbox challenge car, which is why it's painted in that special gold color. And this was a super hard to find car because um, I had to get mine at Color to Diecast, by the way. Just that I didn't let you know how I get that one into my collection. Um, and then we're getting into the slightly bigger scale ones, along with the LEGO Speed Champions Mustang GT. There may or may not be some pullback or RC cars as well. Um... Yeah, so these are some bigger sized Mustang model cars. I want to say these two next to the Meister ones are probably RC cars. I could be wrong, but I think they are remote controlled cars. And then this was the bonus thing that I was talking about. Yep, that's exactly how it relates into this challenge video that I was making. Anyways, um... That's going to wrap up part one for this diecast car challenge video. Um, part two will have, I want to say just one more car to show because I forgot to bring it up here somehow. Possibly one or two more, but I think it's just one, probably not two. Anyways, thanks for watching my um, cool or unique Mustang diecast cars challenge video, everyone. Have a great rest of your weekend, and I hope to see some... Really cool videos for this diecast car challenge that I just thought of doing as of this weekend. Bye. Thanks for watching.